students welcome to sunil's tutorial i'm sunil milwani and today we'll be doing the chapter called as electrochemistry now so far we have seen voltic cell now what is the main feature of a voltic cell in a voltic cell you have certain electrolytes you have current that is produced due to the electrodes due to a metal dipped in its own solution now let us see another concept of generating electricity which is called as fuel cell right now in voltic cell current is produced due to redox reaction i can say the combustion reaction the combustion reactions are the redox reactions therefore used to produce electricity right now so in voltic cells are designed to convert energy by combustion of fuels which is already present inside the cell you can say that galvanic or voltic cells galvanic cells which are designed which are designed to convert energy of combustion of combustion of fuels directly into electrical energy electrical energy right now in fuel cells reactants are not present within the cell but they are continuously supplied to the electrode from the reservoir what are fuel cells in fuel cells reactants are not present within the cell but are continuously <coughs> but are continuously supplied to the electrode from the reservoir these are fuel cells right so in this in fuel cells you will have reactants supplied from the reservoir they are not present in the cell they will directly burn the fuel that is provided to it and convert it into electrical energy instead of using the conventional redox reaction let's see a type of fuel cell let's see hydrogen oxygen fuel cell right hydrogen oxygen fuel cell now um let's first see the construction of this now hydrogen oxygen fuel cell as the name suggests in this cell hydrogen gas is used as a fuel and the oxygen or uh, the oxygen is used as an oxidizing agent the energy of combustion of hydrogen gas is converted into electrical energy find we get this in here so what is a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell in this cell in this cell hydrogen gas in this cell hydrogen gas is used as a fuel hydrogen gas is used as a fuel and oxygen gas as an oxidizing agent right 
the energy the energy of combustion of hydrogen gas is converted into electrical energy right let's see the construction of this how do i construct a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell now it consists of anode which is made up of porous carbon rod with finely divided platinum crystals so you will have this is going to be my anode and here you have a tube that will continuously provide it with hydrogen gas So that's my porous spot that is made up of uh, carbon rod and finely divided platinum crystal. Hydrogen gas is continuously bubbled through the anode. Right? Here is where my hydrogen gas is going to be bubbled. Right? And this is my anode, which is negative. Right? And this is the porous spot that we are talking about. Polar spot made up of carbon with finely divided platinum crystals. Uh, finely divided platinum as catalyst. Uh, same way, the cathode is also made up of porous carbon rod. Right, in which oxygen gas is going to be bubbled. Oxygen gas goes in from here. Right? This is going to be my cathode, which is positively charged. Right? So the cathode is made up of porous carbon rod with finely divided platinum catalyst. Oxygen is bubbled into it. Now the two rods are dipped in hot aqueous. The two rods are dipped in hot aqueous potassium hydroxide solution. So here you have hot right. So this is your hot aqueous. Potassium hydroxide solution or KOH solution. Right? The whole apparatus is closed. Right? It's closed here, and you would have wires that will be connected. From one terminal to the other terminal, and you have an opening at the center for the escape of hydrogen uh, for water. <coughs> hydrogen and oxygen gas will combine to give you water. This is how electrons will move. Right? This is your porous spot. So that's my construction of um, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. Right? Write the construction down, guys. It consists of it consists of anode made up of made up of porous carbon rod. 
porous carbon rod get finely divided platinum platinum as catalyst hydrogen gas is continuously bubbled hydrogen gas is continuously bubbled through anode right that's my anode cathode the cathode is again made up of porous carbon rod cathode is made up of porous carbon rod with finely divided finely divided platinum as catalyst right oxygen gas is bubbled through cathode oxygen gas is bubbled through cathode fine and the last is the carbon rods are dipped carbon rods are dipped in hot aqueous KOH solution <coughs> so that's my construction of a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell working Working as a cell reaction, right? Let's see at anode. At anode, what will happen is hydrogen gas that is being bubbled into anode is going to get oxidized to form water. Hydrogen gas is oxidized to water. How? You have two hydrogen gas molecules combining with four hydroxyl aqueous molecules to form four molecules of water plus four electrons. This is my oxidation reaction that occurs. So hydrogen gas, which is being bubbled into anode, combines with hydroxyl ions. to give you water and four electrons right then at cathode this was at anode and cathode what will be the reaction at cathode at cathode oxygen gas is being bubbled in oxygen gas is reduced to hydroxyl molecules by gain of electrons right so you have oxygen gas reacting with water which is formed at the anode and four electrons form there to give you four hydroxyl aqueous molecules this is my reduction reaction so thus you have oxidation and reduction reaction taking place Here you can see that electrons travel from the anode to the cathode in the external circuit. I can say that electrons travel from anode to cathode in or through the external circuit. External circuit. Right now. In that case, once I know my anode reaction, I know my cathode reaction. I can find out my net cell reaction. The net cell reaction. The net cell reaction is going to be hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas. See, there's four hydroxyl molecules on reactant and product side will get cancelled. So you'll have two hydrogen gas combined with oxygen gas. 
give you water molecules. Right? 4 and 2, so it will give you 2 water molecules. Right? So, here combustion of hydrogen gas takes place. Right? Hydrogen gas is burnt in air to form water molecule. That is what exactly happens in a fuel cell. Right? I can say that hydrogen gas is an oxidizing agent. Hydrogen gas and oxidizing agent do not react directly. Do not react directly. Right? Most of the energy released in the formation of hydroxyl bond is converted into electrical energy rather than into the energy of combustion. Most of the energy released in the formation of OH bond is directly converted into electrical energy into electrical energy rather than energy of combustion So from where does the energy from where is it that the energy is formed? The energy is formed when the OH bond is broken. And that energy is converted into electrical energy rather than that energy being used to burn the gas. Right? So as long as as long as the reactants hydrogen and oxygen gases are supplied are supplied to the electrodes are supplied to electrodes the cell operates continuously operates continuously cell operates continuously to produce electrical energy to produce energy. Right? What will be the cell potential here? The cell potential is going to be the standard oxidation potential of the cathode minus standard oxidization potential, sorry, standard reduction potential of the cathode minus standard reduction potential of anode which is 0 0.4 volts. That's the potential development cathode and negative 0 0.83 volts. So that is 1.23 volts. That is the potential that is developed. Right? So that's how you have an hydrogen oxygen fuel cell form. Right? Hydrogen gas gets oxidized to give you the requisite energy. Right? What are the advantages? What are the advantages of a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell? High efficiency. The efficiency of the fuel cell is 70% as compared to 40% efficiency that conventional cells have. Conventional cells have an efficiency of only 40% whereas fuel cells have an efficiency of 70%. First, high efficiency. efficiency of a fuel cell is about 70% as compared to 40% of conventional cells. 
That's the first advantage that we have there. Second, continuous source of energy. The fuel cell converts its energy directly into electricity and takes little time to go into operation. The cell do the cell do not have to be discharged when the reactant is consumed. So there is no discharging, there is continuous production of energy. The moment you supply a hydrogen or oxygen gas, instantaneously you will have energy being formed. Right? So it is a continuous source of energy. Fuel cell converts its energy directly into electrical energy. A fuel cell converts its energy directly into electrical energy and takes little time to go into operation. And takes little time to go into operation. Takes little time to go into operation. The cells do not have to be discharged. The cells do not have to be discharged when the reactants are consumed. And the reactants are consumed. So first, they have high energy, high efficiency. Second, they are continuous source of energy. Now, what is the byproduct of the fuel cell? Water, right? That means it is pollution free. There is no harmful or objectionable product that is formed from the cell. Hence. A fuel cell can solve the problem of pollution, pollution free working, pollution free working, right, there is no harmful, there is no harmful or objectionable Product. There is no harmful or objectionable product formed in the cell. Right? Hence, hence, it has no problem of no problem of pollution. Right? And the cell runs continuously as long as the reacting gases are supplied to it. Right? So those are the advantages of it. What are the disadvantages? What are the disadvantages of a fuel cell? Hydrogen gas in itself is hazardous to use and it has a very high cost of preparation. Hydrogen gas is hazardous to use and as high cost of preparation. That's the first drawback of it. Second, the actual voltage, now theoretically the voltage that should be developed in a fuel cell is 1.23 volts but there is always a deviation in the behavior of the fuel cell. The actual voltage that is produced in a fuel cell is less than 1.23 volts, right? Due to the deviations from reversible behavior, where you could have water getting converted back into hydrogen and oxygen, right? The actual voltage is less than the actual voltage is less than 1.23 volts due to deviations from reversible behavior due to deviations 
So those are the disadvantages of fuel cell. Next. Where do I use fuel cells? Application. Where do I use fuel, fuel cell? It is used for providing electrical power in space program. It is used in automobiles on experimental basis. If the experiment succeeds, in future we would have cars that would work on fuel cell. Right? It is used in automobiles on experimental basis. Right? Then it offers it is operated at high temperature in spacecraft so that water evaporates and vapors get condensed to water used for drinking purpose by astronauts. That's how astronauts get drinking water. It is operated at high temperatures in spacecraft. So that water gets evaporated and vapors get condensed. Vapors get condensed to water. Vapors get condensed to water used for drinking purpose. for drinking purpose by astronauts. Right? Then fuel cell using methanol might become available in products such as cell phones and laptop computers. Right? Very soon you may have fuel cells. Instead of using hydrogen and oxygen gas you may use methanol. Using Methanol might become become available available in products such as cell phones cell phones and laptop computers. And finally, fuel cell is likely to be used as power generation for homes, hotels and hospitals. Fuel cell is likely to be used for power generation. For power generation for homes, hotels, and hospitals. That's where we could use fuel cells, right? Okay, we'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.